In this video, we're going to get a first impression of GitHub's Copilot. GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programmer right in your IDE. It can suggest lines or entire functions to write, which begs the question, can developers be replaced by AI? Although I can't answer that question, I can show you the future. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. GitHub Copilot right now is a technical preview, which means that you can sign up to beta test it. All you have to do is click the sign up button. Once you click sign up, you'll be brought to this page over here. And all you have to do is click join the waitlist. And just to let you know, it took me about one week before I got the email letting me know that I could join the technical preview. As far as which IDEs you can use GitHub Copilot with, they're listed over here on the website as NeoVim, JetBrains, and Visual Studio Code. For this video, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. After you signed up for the technical preview, hopefully you'll get an email in the future. Once you get that email, you can then go to Visual Studio Code or one of those other IDEs. Uh, for Visual Studio Code, all we do is go to the extensions and we look for GitHub Copilot. And once we find a Copilot, we go ahead and install it. And then once you've installed it, it'll ask you to authenticate. So this is the part of the technical preview that actually lets you get access to the GitHub Copilot. Once your GitHub account is approved, then this extension will actually start to work. Once you have the extension installed, you'll have this little icon in the corner where you can either activate or deactivate GitHub Copilot. Let's give GitHub Copilot a try. So in this project that I have over here, I have an index.js, so a JavaScript file. And let's say that I want to write a function. Well, while I'm writing that function, GitHub over here, Copilot is working. You can see it's spinning. It gives me suggestions for the code that I want to write. Over here, I'm trying to write a range method that has a start and an end. And if we highlight our mouse over it, we can see that we can go to different suggestions. We can go to the next or previous suggestion. And as we step through these different suggestions, it's different implementations of the same function. This is kind of interesting because you could learn from these different examples, although What's kind of interesting is I'm just telling Visual Studio Code right now what my intent is, what I want to do, and then it's giving me suggestions on how to do that. Kind of an interesting perspective in terms of coding. And then let's explore this a little bit further. So once again, I put my mouse over here and then I get this a little menu. I can use the keyboard shortcuts if I want. If I want to accept this, I can just click accept and you'll see that it will fill the code in. And then I have this method available. But let's undo that over here. And now we're back to this state. Now let's open GitHub Copilot. You can also access this with Control Enter. I believe that works on Windows and Mac. When we click that over here, we get this other tab. And inside this tab over here, it gives us all the possible suggestions that we can use. So you can see the range method over here can be written many different ways. Now, possibly maybe some of these are better than others, but it's really interesting to note. Another thing that's kind of interesting too, is you can learn from every single one of these implementations. You might have thought there was only one or two ways to write it. Well, here are 10 different ways. Once you find the way that you like, you can go ahead and click the accept solution, and then it fills it in over here on the left hand side. Now let's try something different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write my code in plain English. We're going to put a comment. I'm going to say find all images in the document. It even suggested that. Go to the next line and all of a sudden it's suggesting that we could have this variable called images and set it to document.query selector. You know what? I, I kind of want a function. So we'll start to write function, put a space, and then all of a sudden it says find all images and it returns the images from that function. This is really insane. All I did was write a comment and next thing you know I have the code that I want. Let's continue to expand on this. We'll keep the find all images in the document here and then I'll say and it's even suggesting what I could do with them over here. Let's see what some of these suggestions are. And set their SRC to a new image, replace with a new image. Okay, so there's not too much there, but let's do something different. We'll say, and make the border green. Let's see what that gives us. Go to the next line. And there you go. We have a function called make green. It gets all the images on the screen. Then it loops over the images and yes, it sets the color to green. It's setting a border of 10 pixels. I, that's kind of arbitrary wherever it's getting this code from, but that is really neat that we can get a suggestion like that. Here's another cool example that we can try. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to put a comment. So at the top of this file, I'm going to write express server on port 5003. 
hit enter it's going to give us a suggestion and now we have our express server set up and listening on port 5003 automatically because of our copilot all right let's go ahead and give a few more examples a try over here let's say that i go function and i go let's try bubble sort and see what we get we'll probably get a bunch of suggestions as you can see it's already starting to load in those suggestions over there so I don't have to learn how to write that or know how to write it. It can write it for me. And then I can go through those next and previous if that were to appear, but it doesn't look like it. Some other things you could do too are like shortest path. Any algorithm you could think of that you would normally, you know, have to go to Stack Overflow for, you no longer need to go there for it. That's the thing with Copilot, instead of going to Stack Overflow, you could technically now just kind of ask your question to your copilot and see what your copilot has to say. What's interesting about copilot is how immediate it is. Instead of me going to Stack Overflow or Google and looking up how to validate an email, well, I can just start to write a function that says validate email. And as I do that, my copilot is going off and looking for suggestions for that function. So if we look over here, we have that suggestion. Maybe I should open those brackets so it takes an email in. You could see from there that it was getting the email from the DOM. It was going document dog get element by ID. But in this example over here, it's taking the email in. It's kind of neat. Just anything you could think of, anything you want to search for, you just start to type and it starts to look for you. For example, I'm interested in game development. And let's say that all of a sudden I need to write a collision detection method for my sprites. Well, normally if I knew this was JavaScript, I might go to MDN and find a good article there, or maybe I'd go to Stack Overflow. Well, from within Visual Studio Code with my trusty copilot, I can start to create that function, type in the name, Sprite Collision Detection, and all of a sudden I have a method available to me over here that does collision detection based on the rectangles of Sprite 1 and Sprite 2, and I never even had to look that up. This code is right here available. Normally it would take me a little bit just to remember how it works, but now it's just available straight away. This is exciting technology. As with everything, I still believe it's important to understand the fundamentals. Personally, I want to make sure that I understand all the code that is suggested by GitHub Copilot. I'm definitely going to be beta testing this at my place of work. Let me know what you think about GitHub Copilot in the comments. Are you excited for the future? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share.